Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the JR Fizzy channel. Welcome back to another squad builder type video. And this time, we have got a 300k squad builder for you guys. I thought I'd upgrade it just a little bit more. I've literally just finished recording our 200k squad builder. So make sure to check that one out. Link will be in the description. I'll also add a little card. Um, so make sure to check that video out because you guys love these squad builder type videos. So I thought, why not? Why not drop another one for you guys? Um, it's going to be a 300k. K squad builder and yeah it's a bit of a different team to the normal what you see you know so hopefully you guys like if you are new around here make sure to like and subscribe to the channel comment down below how your weekend league is going because it is weekend league while I'm recording this so let me know what what record you guys finish because obviously weekend league will be you know it'll be over when I finish this video but with that being said Let's get into it. Make sure to turn the bell on so you never, ever, ever, ever miss an upload. Okay, guys. So, as you can see, our first player in goal is none other than Gianluigi Donnarumma. I picked his second in. This is his second in form. 86 rated for 38,750, which is literally what Footbin says he's going for at the moment. Again, all of these prices are... Um, within uh, weekend league, that's when I'm buying these players. So hopefully, when the weekend league finishes, you guys can buy them for cheaper. Um, hopefully, it's going to be team of the year, so a lot of these guys are going to be coming out of packs as well. So you got to remember that prices will just be dropping so low. Uh, team of the year market crash is just going to be absolutely insane. So I can't wait for that. So hopefully, you guys get some bargains. But yeah, first guy Donnarumma, six foot five, traditional save technique. Right-footed. I love my right-footed kill goalkeepers. You guys know that. Um, Three-star weak foot, which is um, decent for a keeper. Um, if we go to his attributes, I always stick with a basic on my keepers. As you guys know from previous squad builders, I always say this. If you do feel comfortable maybe putting a glove or a cat or a wall, whatever, a shield, whatever you guys feel comfortable with, do that. Again, these are all my preferences and how I would run the team. But that's not stopping any of you guys from, you know, changing it up, putting your own kind of little sprinkle on it. And yeah, making your own good team. Um, I keep a basic on him. 99 diving, 95 handling, 98 kicking, 99 reflexes, and 94 goalkeeper positioning. So I think that's a really, really, really good card at 6'5". Um, and I've not really used him. I've not really heard many reviews about him. So if you do pick him up, let me know in the comments down below. Or on Twitter, you know, shout me on Twitter. That will also be in the low. Uh, also be below in the description, should I say. And yeah, that's our goalkeeper, Donnarumma. Now, our first part of the defense is the right back position. And you know how we do it. Zimri Vasalko. Now, this guy is an absolute machine. He is high medium, 5 foot 11, 3 star, 3 star, which is a bit eh, but it's okay. Um, you know, he's a good height, good pace, good physical, good dribbling. Now, overall, he's a very, very good card. Now, there's two chem styles you can put on him. I would put on him a shadow, but you can also put on an anchor just to get that physical up um, as well because his strength is a little bit on the lower side. If you want to put like a dribbling chem style on him or a passing, you can maybe go with like a guardian or a backbone or something like that. Or if you want to just max out, you know, on defending and physical, straight up sentinel because his pace is okay. He can catch up to players. Um, I would stick a shadow on him personally, but he's a very, very, very good card. Very usable. First centre back. Now this guy, I've heard very good reviews about him. I have also played against him in weekend league. Um, these are all teams that I would recommend that are going into my weekend league. All the squad builders that I'll be linking in the description. All of these teams, I would recommend you going into weekend league. This team, I think. If you are a decent player, guaranteed gold one for me personally. Guaranteed gold one. And I don't say that very lightly. I say that because I think this is a very, very phenomenal team. Um, just the way it's put together, the way the chem styles work together, the way the work, the work rates work together. I think it's a very good team. Screeny are here. Um, six foot two height, medium high work rates, which is perfect for a defender. Four star weak foot as well. On a centre back, four star weak foot. It's quite rare. Um, so that's really good. Good pace, good defending, strong physical already. Me, personally, just got full out, man. Slap a shadow on him. You know, it's going to become a meme eventually. Um, like, just slap a shadow on him. It's as simple as that. Like, he goes up to 85 pace. Um... 83, sorry, 85 acceleration, 83 sprint speed. He's defending high 90s. Jumping is decent. He's six foot two, so he won't really miss many headers. Uh, good strength. Aggression is 
you know, phenomenal. I love aggressive players. I love my centre backs and defenders and my midfielders for that saying. Um, to be very aggressive. His passing is a little bit on the low side. His dribbling is absolutely horrible. I would say that's the con. His agility and balance are very, very poor. So he might feel very slow on the ball. And if that does happen, stick a, uh, an engine on him because um, it'll be a big boost. Um, I don't know what what's the what's the chem style guys. I need to find this out. What's is there a chem style um, for players that need dribbling and defending or dribbling and physical? I'm sure there is. I think it's a guardian. Is it a guardian? Yeah, it's a guardian. If you put a guardian on him, um, he increases his agility, not his balance, which is a bit yeah. If you stick an edge on him, his balance goes up to 58. Uh, agility goes up to 53, which is decent. I mean, not decent, but it, it will it will do the job. That's the only negative thing I would say about him, really, um, because I feel like, you know, if he feels too clunky at the back, it might be a little bit annoying. Um, but other than that, he's a phenomenal card, and I would definitely recommend him. Um, Price-wise, if we look at his price-wise, he's not really going. He's going for about 13k, um, which is not bad. I forgot Vasalko is going for about 2 to 3k, which is also not bad. Um, this guy I actually have untradeable in the team, so uh, in the club, sorry. So I just put him in there. But he's a phenomenal card. Next centre back, again, I have him untradeable, so I put him in the team. Is Mehdi Benassia. Now this guy has been balling out since FIFA 17 days, FIFA 18 days. He FIFA 18, he was phenomenal. I remember he got a few informs, which were very, very good. Medium high work rates, again, perfect for your centre backs because he's, you know, he's always there. He's not wandering about the freaking pitch. He's there defending as a defender should do. Uh, six foot two, which is a good, you know, respectable height as well. He's going for about 21k, 22k. Um, so he's decently cheap, 86 rated. Good pace and sprint speed for a centre back in terms of the how it works. Slap a shadow on him again, you know, the meme. Uh, 80, uh, he goes up to 83 acceleration and 83 sprint speed, which is very, very good. Dribbling is a little bit better than Skriniar's. He's uh, got more agility, more balance. Um, but still, if you find it low, put an engine on him. Absolutely fine. Or a guardian. Um, defending is so strong. I wouldn't really even touch defending, to be completely honest. Um, physical again, really strong. You don't really need to touch the physical, so it could just be um, a full-on. Really, I would, I would say engine. To be honest, if his passing needs an upgrade, backbone maybe. Um, depending on what you guys want to do, it depends what like, how everything works for you. Me personally, I would just put a straight up shadow on him just because I'm, you know, I'm just trying to um, whore out the game in terms of the mechanics with the pace and the defending. Um, so that's what I would do. But he's a phenomenal centre back, and honestly, these two in, in in at the back, you'll have no problems. Next part of the defence is our left back, and this guy is one of the cheapest left backs. He's so overpowered, it's ridiculous. Now, his defending and his physical stats might not say a lot, but boy, is he good. I would put a sentinel, even, on him, and that's me. That's coming from me. Um, I wouldn't really touch his pace, doesn't need any boost in pace whatsoever. He's quite small, he's at 5'11", high medium, left-footed, obviously as the left back. I would put a sentinel on him, um, because defending and physical wise, if you boost those stats, he becomes an absolute machine at the back. Now, I use Alexandro, but I had no problem, I would have no problem running this guy um, at, at left back for me in my team. I picked him up for 10.5k, you can probably pick him up for under 10k, um, but again, it's weekend league, so prices are a little bit un, uh, inflated. Um, but yeah, this guy is going to be running up and down for you, high medium, so you know, good work rates. And overall, just a phenomenal uh, left back. Now, we move on to the first of our three midfielders. Again, all of these squad builders, I kind of play the same formation. So I guess I'm a little bit biased with how I make the teams. Um, because I'm going to be playing 4-1-2-1-2. This guy is going to be your center defensive mid. Medium, medium, Bakayoko is back once again, another year of FIFA. Last year, everyone knows how broken this card was when he was at Chelsea. He's now moved to AC Milan. He got, him, he got himself this inform, which I bought for 21k. Um, and look at his stats, man. For a, for a center defensive mid, they're so good overall. They're so, so good, man. Honestly, defending, very strong. Physical, he's a very big, strong player. Aggression, 90. Look at that, stamina 86, 6 foot 2 is he? Oh, he's, he's a dream. He's like your Siri Akana Fabinho type player. 
honestly, put either a shadow, an anchor, or even like a sentinel, or like if you want to, you know, try and boost his passing and dribbling, maybe an artist. Um, but I would recommend personally a shadow just to, to get the acceleration and sprint speed to its max because so he can keep up with everything that's going on in the middle of the park. He is medium, medium, so he will be kind of not really going forward, not really staying back, just kind of sitting there in the middle. Now, the next two guys I'm going to be talking about, the first is this man, Blaze Matuidi, one of the most overpowered meta cards in the game, fits the game, the game mechanics perfectly, good pace, good dribbling, good defending, good passing, brilliant physical, everything is just amazing about this card, simple as that, one word, shadow, thank you very much, honestly, everything else, nothing else needs to be touched, Put some pace stats on him. He's a high high. He's put him on the put him on the left because he has a two star weak foot and two star skill moves. That is one of the cons of his game. He's not really going to be doing that for you. Um, so that's the only that's the only thing. Like two star weak foot, two star skill moves it is really poor. Um, but if you put him on the left hand side, you will have no issues and you will not complain. You can pick him up for twenty one k, which is really really good. Uh, attribute details, um, again, overall stats are just phenomenal. Stick a shadow on him and you won't be um, disappointed. With that being said, the next. Again, like I said, those two guys, this guy's on the right-hand side. Matuidi and Nangolan in the midfield, high, high on either side. Yeah, exactly. Shadow, again, everything else does not need to be touched. Brilliant long shots, brilliant shot power. His positioning attacking-wise is very, very good. Passing is also very good. Um, dribbling stats are phenomenal. Defending and physical stats phenomenal again. Um, again, uh, he needs that little pace boost because his sprint speed is only 73, so that is a little bit low. Um, but he's just such an overpowered card. Everyone knows how good this guy is. And in this team, again, with the players around him, the way the team's working, this team is gonna ball out, man. I might actually try this team. I'm very, very impressed with the fact that these um, that I put this team together. I might be blowing my own trumpet there. But let me know what you think, man, because I think this is a great team, honestly. Um, again, Shadow and him and Matuidi, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. All day long. Stamina, 93. Matuidi, stamina is 94. Uh, you might have got a little preview on the next player. Matuidi and Nangolan, stamina 93, 94. Yeah, they're running, they're, they, they ain't getting substituted. There's no super sub needed there. Next player, you've already seen it, is your second inform Suso. Now, this guy kind of went under the radar for me a little bit because all of the other players I knew about, this guy kind of came up, you know, from the corner, kind of doing his own thing quietly. Um, but he, look at his card. It's a phenomenal card if you look at it. Like, for the price, I picked him up for 79k. Now, for 79k, that kind of a card is a very, very good price. You could probably get him for cheaper once weekend league ends. High medium, left footed. Again, the con, the weak foot, it is peak. Yes, I know. But as a cam, I would play this guy as cam um, because of his phenomenal dribbling and passing stats. Full style skill move, so he's very good there. Uh, like if you uh, me personally why I would stick on him um, You're looking at probably either a dead eye to get his shooting and passing up Maybe a hawk to get the physical up because his physical is on the poor side So you might want to get the strength off a little bit um, But other than that His overall stats are very 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 good another thing you can put he only has 78 composure So you can put a sniper on him and that gets his composure plus 5 to 83 so maybe that's something considering I would put a hunter on him just because of the way I play and my play style but again it's up to you guys how you would play him you can also put a maestro on him that would make him a phenomenal cam like probably 89 90 rated cam um, but yeah Suso um, brilliant player cheap player definitely one I would recommend our striker our right hand sided striker is going to be Drias Mertens and now the first thing I look at him Full star, full star, high, low. That is the perfect stats. Uh, sorry, perfect kind of, I would say stats, but like perfect traits, let's say, for a striker position. Four star, four star, high, low. The only thing that can get better is five star, five star. Five star, weak foot, preferably, for me. But 
you know, he's a phenomenal card. Everyone knows Dries Martin's a very overpowered card. Fits the meta perfectly. A lot of you could, you could put him at Cam. Um, he is um, a very good player at Cam. A lot of people do recommend him at Cam. I'm going to be playing him at right striker in this team. That's how I would set it up. You can put a dead eye on him. A dead eye would just make a dead eye on him would just make him ball out completely. But other than that, like if you put a hunter on him, which is what I would put on him. It becomes absolutely insane because his pace is just bought out. 94 sprint speed, 93, uh, 99 acceleration, 95 sprint speed, should I say. Shooting goes up, you know, to the 90s. You know how we do. Um, passing, again, is a little bit low. But because it's so, it's quite overall well-based, um, I don't think it needs to be touched. His dribbling is phenomenal. His dribbling is phenomenal. His composure is a little bit low, so maybe put a sniper on him to get his um, composure up to uh, 86, which is quite a good quite a good composure boost um in my opinion but yeah i would put a hunter on him personally and that's our first striker to end the team off is going to be this guy now this guy is your star man in every team i have said there's one star man this team this guy i packed his red card i haven't actually used him man again i've got so many of these phenomenal cheap red cards that I don't use because of the team that I have rolling with. So maybe in the future I'll be doing cheap teams and using them in the weekend league. Like I did um, with my 100k squad builder. Um, which you can find on the channel. Link will be in the description. Also check the card out um, to check that video out. That video did really well. You guys really liked that. So hopefully you like appreciate this uh, 300k squad builder for you guys. It's a full Serie A team. But this guy. Let's get on to him. 4 star, 4 star. High low work rates. Again. Perfect for a striker. Five foot eleven, so he's quite tall. So he, you know he's quite bulky, quite strong. Beasting out up front. And if we go on to his stats, man, dribbling doesn't really need to be touched in my opinion because he's quite tall. Um, his dribbling will feel it'll feel good. Um, I have used his regular card, and that feels really good as a super sub. Um, good finishing, good shot power. Pace is phenomenal. Don't really need to touch that. In my opinion, I would put a dead eye on him. Um, he's probably that's probably the best thing to put on him. Um, for my player start, I'll just ball out with a hunter just because that's what I do. Um, all my attackers have hunters on them. All my uh, midfielders have shadows on them. But if you want to mix it up a little bit, Dead Eye is a very good one. Um, Maestro, Marksman is a very good one. Uh, Sniper also is very, very good. Um, so all those one that increases is shot, passing, dribbling, and physical. They're the four things you need to look at. Defending, no one cares about. You're a striker. Pace is phenomenal anyway, so he'll be balling out up front. Um, so I would recommend personally a dead eye. Probably the best chem style to get the highest rated the most out of him. Um, but me personally, I would put Hunter. But yeah, man, honestly, you can pick him up for about 28k. Um, so that's not bad. Dries Mertens, I forgot to tell you the price. Roughly 28k. Um, again, uh, Nine Golan, I forgot to mention that one, 30k. Uh, Bakayoko, 20k. So all these guys are basically 20 to 30k, and they're absolute beasts. Do you know what I mean? So this is how the team looks um, before the game starts. I would go into the 4-1-2-1-2 if I can just get that up on the screen for you. And I think I just went all the way around. Wow. But yeah, this is how I would set the team up. Now you've got... Um, you know, Dries Mertens there, Bakayoko sitting there, uh, Kitabal there, don't know where he's disappeared to, but his pitch has gone for a second, God knows why. Suso in at cam, R Nine Golan I would put on the right hand side because he's right footed, Blaze Maturi on the left hand side because he's left footed and he has that two star weak foot, that's one of his weak points. But other than that, that's the team man. Back line, I would stick with full shadows, Dalba I would put a sentinel on him because he's already got amazing pace. Uh, Bakayoko, straight up shadow. Matuidi and Nigolan, straight up shadow. Um, Suso, I would put a hunter on him just to get that increased pace boost because he doesn't have uh, a good sprint speed. And the two up front. Barter the hour, you can argue a dead eye would be better than a, a hunter. I would put a hunter personally. Up to you guys again. Andres Mertens, a hunter, just to end it off. Uh, tactics, as the same as usual in this kind of a setup. Um, goalkeeper, obviously, no tactic. Um, left back, right back, stay back while attacking. Um, center defensive mid, cut passing lanes and stay back while attacking because I feel like passing lanes in this team very, very, very important um, because you know you, there's a lot of auto blocks and interceptions. So I think that's very good. Uh, left center mid and nine goal and right center mid. Matuidi and nine goal. I would put stay back while attacking. Nothing else touch. Um, your Cam Suso, I would say stay forward um, and get into the box on crosses just so he's there. Maybe as an extra person that you want to sweat to. And then up front, Kitabal de Dial and Dres Merton. Stay, um, stay forward, get in behind, stay central. And yeah, man, honestly, 
that is, uh, I feel like this is a really, really, really good team. So I hope you do enjoy. Let me know if you do use this team. Any of the squad builders, they are all on the video. Uh, all on the channel, should I say, to so check those out. With that being said, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to smash the like button. Comment down below how you found your weekend league and if you would do any of these squad builders, any of these players. Again, you can sprinkle your own magic on it to let me know what works for you. And yeah, for now, guys, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching again. I've been your boy, and I hope you enjoyed. And I'm out. Peace.